Hey, welcome back, guys. Uh, those of you who watch my videos know that I am a big fan of Arch Linux, um, and I've explored uh, many different ways of installing an Arch Linux desktop. Normally, I run uh, Manjaro, uh, which uh, I really enjoy, but <clears throat> there are many different ways that you can install an Arch Linux system and be able to enjoy the advantages of an Arch Linux system. Even though Arch Linux is one of the most difficult uh, distributions to install from scratch, uh, it is, in my opinion, one of the easiest to run on a daily basis once the install is finished. Now what you're looking at here is an Arch Linux install using the Mate desktop and I just put a simple panel on the left with some launchers for the uh, applications that I use most often. Uh, I've got the uh, typical Mate uh, desktop, nothing fancy, very simple. Uh, but there are many ways to achieve this. There are many ways to achieve uh, a simple Arch Linux operating system. Now, if we take a look at some of the options available, you've got plain vanilla Arch, which if you look at the installation guide, that's what usually scares people away because it is not the easiest system in the world to install from scratch. I've done it numerous times and it's not really a fun process, although you will learn a lot by going through the process. But I think most people can realize the benefits of an art system by, by taking the easy way. And there are multiple ways of doing that. Now, if we take a look at the, uh, the gamut of install options, you've got Manjaro, which is very, very easy to install. You can download their flagship XFCE or their uh, KDE. They've got a net install option. They've also got several community spins, uh, including the Mate desktop, the Budgie, lots of different uh, community uh, spins. Now, if you take a look at their stable releases, you've got XFCE, as I mentioned, KDE. And if you scroll down, you'll see Mod, uh, Manjaro Community uh, Additions. If you go to release, they, they, they're up to 16.10.3. Uh, Cinnamon, they've got just about every desktop represented uh, in their Community Edition downloads. So, and very easy install, not a whole lot of work. You don't need to be a, a Linux guru to uh, end up with a very nice desktop environment. Now the next one in line would be Anturgos. Anturgos is Arch Linux with a variety of different desktops. I think they have six different desktop options when you install and you pick what which one you would like. Um, it's a very easy install it's really not more difficult than Manjaro, but it's a little bit more bare bones. They, Anturgos does have their own repo, but they don't add as much to the Arch install product or desktop as Manjaro does. So it's a, it's a step down from Manjaro as far as uh, proprietary additions to the Arch Linux operating system very nice I've used it multiple times no problems at all with it it's a, it's a it's again a great way to try Arch Linux the next uh, distribution Arch Linux distribution I would say is Apricity and Apricity I believe has the cinnamon desktop and the gnome desktop uh, and I think that's uh, really the only two desktop environments that they offer. Uh, but again, it's an easy install. 
it gives you a very nice finished product uh, yeah it's the gnome and cinnamon environment so you've got a, a couple of good desktop environments to pick from and again the end result is a very nice uh, Arch Linux operating system so that basically is the uh, top three dist Arch Linux distributions Manjaro, Anturgos, Apricity. Going beyond that um, I used to use the Architect installer uh, because the next step down it's a little bit more complex but the next step down um, would be the architect would would be something like the architect installer but architect is no longer available uh, the project is inactive as you can see now I tried to see if the installer still worked and it does not so that is out the window now there's a note here alternative distributions include arch anywhere and Turgos and Feliz. Now, Arch Anywhere, um, it's an installer, but it has a little a little bit of proprietary uh, content. Uh, and Turgos, they have their own repo, so I would classify that as more of a distribution. And that brings me to my next uh, example of what started out probably as a, an Arch Linux <clears throat> installer, but in my opinion has developed into more of an Arch Linux distribution, and that is OB Revenge OS. It's an absolutely fantastic, Jody James, um, absolutely fantastic Arch Linux option for install. Now Jody has tailored the Cal Calamaris installer to his particular distribution works beautifully. Also Jody has included uh, a lot of proprietary information so um, he has his own menu, uh, install options, NVIDIA driver install, software installation. He's pretty much got everything covered along with a really, really nice looking uh, desktop environment right down to the wallpaper and the conky. So I believe OB Revenge has upped its game and now has to be considered in with uh, Apricity and Anturgos. It's that good. Uh, and so I really think that uh, OB Revenge, and, and and again, I hope OB Revenge stays active because it's really terrific. There was some uh, concern lately that it may have been uh, abandoned, but it's it's back and it's it's as good or better than ever. So if you want to give uh, Arch a try. You really can't do any better than OB Revenge. It's absolutely top notch. Which leaves us with Feliz as being one of, if not the only true basic installer available. Now, Feliz is in its second uh, iteration. Um, I did a review on it in the past and I also did a video on the install process and there are a bunch of uh, Feliz installer videos available. Basically what it does is take you through a series of questions. It is, um, it's not at the command line, uh, it's a series of graphical menus that you basically just have to have to pick a numerical response so it, it'll ask you uh, to select a desktop environment for example and it'll give you a list and you just select the one you want now you can install multiple uh, desktop environments just by selecting uh, multiple uh, one at a time but the the question and answer uh, 
process is pretty easy. And so once you're done with that, and uh, actually this desktop that you're looking at here was accomplished with the Feliz installer. All I did was answer the questions going through the installer. It helps if you have your petition already created but you go through the process it took me about 15 minutes and one of the things that Feliz is different uh, from other installers that I've tried is Feliz gives you the option of installing software in various categories so you can pick a um, text editor you can pick a browser you can pick graphics programs so you can select from a, a menu of uh, packages that you can have already installed when you first boot up so in that respect Feliz is a little bit different from some of the other installers and right now in my opinion the best Arch Linux installer is Feliz. It's absolutely flawless as far as you know and I've done it maybe 10 times and it's worked flawlessly every time. And then once you have your basic operating system up and running then you can tweak it and make it look the way you want. You can theme it, you can go through all of the normal configuration options that you would with any Linux distribution, but what you get, the end result is something that you, you kind of built from the ground up, which is pretty satisfying. Overall, I prefer Arch Linux mainly due to its package management system. So that is it for this, uh, this video, guys. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by the channel. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.